Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. Evan and Caitlin. Woo! Hello. These guys are here, and we're gonna make a 3D printed Damascus knife, 3D printed knife handles, Damascus steel blade. Thanks for joining us. This is gonna be an awesome week. I'm super awesome. excited. Have you guys ever stick welded? No, we've only MIG welded. Awesome. Do you wanna try stick welding? Sure. There we go, guys. How was it? Ah, so fun. Power hammering. Powering. Ooh. Uh, Power hammering is pretty. It's pretty awesome. It Shall we explain what it is that we're doing? And can you guys show me? We are Ooh. making a blade for this knife right here. Let's have a look. All right, let's have a look. Whoa! And so this is 3D printed steel. 3D yes. printed steel. You guys have got to have a look at this. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Very, oh my goodness, that, it feels awesome. It feels almost like a shot blasted texture. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. So, oh, you've been using this one? I've been using this like so much. I, I just sitting at my desk, just clicking it back and forth. Caitlin's getting annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how we all become knife addicts. You know, you end up with a knife and you just fiddle with it so fiddle much. It, fiddle just fiddle, 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 fiddle. 3D printed steel with different finishes. Oh my, what, it's gold! <laughs> they made a gold 3D printed knife feel on one side, E and K on the other. This is unbelievable. Is the video live already on your channel of how these are made? Yes. It will be, yeah, so it'll be live right now. Right now? Right now! Okay, once this video is done, make sure you go check it out. You designed this, we went back and forth on the design, making sure that it was all sorted. So we've all eaten lunch, well fed on fajitas. Forge is hot. What we now need to do, we got our pieces of steel welded, drawn out. We gotta have a think about what pattern we put into the steel. Something fancy? Fancy <laughs> is definitely involved. It's Damascus after all. We got them ground up. Evan and Caitlin have cut up the pieces. <laughs> Evan cut up the pieces. What we're now gonna do is we need to again go to the stick welder, tack them up, and it's back in the fire to weld it together. What's the pattern we're making, guys? Raindrop. Raindrop pattern. You guys have been asking for it for a while.
now doing a little bit of grinding on it. At this point, we got quite a few hundred layers of steel because we took our 30 layer stack, we multiplied it by nine, that is 270 maths. And that does mean that we are well set up for making, for the first time, raindrop pattern Damascus. While he's been grinding that, I've been setting up the mill. I've got a 16 mil end mill in there. Once the piece is ready, I'm gonna flip it up on the side, and we're gonna make two parallel sides so that we can securely grip it in the jaws of the vise. All sorted, perfect. <laughs> About a half inch thick. So as I said, we are gonna make two parallel sides, grip it sideways, and then we are going to make it look like Swiss cheese. <laughs> I don't know, actually no, because that would make it... All the way through. We don't want holes all the way through. We're gonna look like a whole bunch of bullets were shot at it. Yes, yeah. I would say so, bullet. Yeah. We're gonna make some little bullet, uh, bullet gouges. There we go. Yeah. Ugly doggly. So, these guys know it already, but I'm gonna run you guys through it. This is raindrop pattern Damascus. It's the first time I've ever done it. This is the principle. We've got a piece of steel with a blue colored metal on the top and green and blue layers in the middle. On this piece, we've got about 300, what, 270 layers. What we're gonna do. Put <laughs> your hand prints. <laughs> hand print, elbow print. Whoops, long weekend. We are going to drill in as indicated by this. Not gonna leave a handprint or an elbow print. So that'll mean that we're cutting into the layers so that once we flatten it down, we end up with this little ring, this topographical ring, like an ordnance survey map. And because we're doing more than just one, it'll hopefully look like this. Evan and Caitlin have done a great job drilling the holes. Ah. And so now that's the time. We're gonna flatten it down. Got its surface ground up. Nice surface finish, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. surface really grinder. Really nice. I mean, we did a really good job watching. I, I, I spun it for a little bit. Yeah, you did a good job, did a good job. It's, yeah, ferric chloride. This is the moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Are we ready? How long do you have to wait? Oh, I dropped it, no. no! <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, we got it. <laughs> da da. How long do you have to wait for? Da da. Oh, not long then. Da 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 da. Okay, and we're gonna go into the bicarbonate ah! soda. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh, this is God. so cool! That's amazing. Oh my. That is amazing. Yeah. Ah! So we 
tomorrow are going to be taking our raindrop pattern Damascus and making this into a blade for a 3D printed knife. Guys, the link down below will take you to Evan and Caitlin's video so you can see how they 3D printed these folding knife scales. Guys, tell them about your channel and why they should subscribe. We're a husband and wife team. We love making things, oh my gosh, <laughs> out of all sorts of different materials using robots, hand tools, all sorts of things. We try to take you guys along the way as we fail and succeed eventually and figure things out and laugh at our own bad jokes. So it's a lot of fun. Go subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's a pleasure and honor as always. Did I get my bunny ears in? <laughs> no, I didn't put bunny ears. <laughs> I was trying. Oh we will see you tomorrow, all three of us, yes. on the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>